Good afternoon, everybody. It is July 7th today. Um, we are back up here at the North Farm as we were crop checking at the South Farm there yesterday. Um, it's actually Ash and I's anniversary today, July 7th. We married two years ago uh, in the year 2020. I know, time flies. But anyway, you're looking at a pumper truck that pumps concrete and we are getting our concrete pads poured. So that one over there, you can clearly see, they're just kind of trawling it. Let's see if I can get a little clear image here. Um, they're done pouring that one, and we are waiting for concrete trucks to pour the second pad. It is cloudy, there has been some showers uh, coming through. I just got here, I, did, I missed this pour, uh, but we are here for this pour. So we're hoping that we're not gonna get any rain because that would really cause a lot of headaches and issues as uh, it's just a, we're, li we're literally out in the middle of a field here trying to get these trucks in would be a problem. And I don't think that you want rain on top of your nicely poured concrete pads. Apparently it can wash them a bit and you don't want that. So Norm, he's just over here in the gray shirt, trawling there a little bit. Uh, he's in charge of this pour. So far things have been going well for him, I do believe, other than we were short some rebar for some odd own reason. When we got it shipped last fall, apparently they didn't quite ship at all. There were 40 rods short or something, so they had to go to the local co-op and find some. So yeah, we're just literally waiting for some trucks. So let's take a look at this pad. All right, so the concrete in the center here is going to be about six inches. And then it tapers it down and it's going to be 24 inches uh, along this edge. You can see all the rebar we got here. And then they uh, had a little left over from the last pour, the last truck. So they just dumped it in here. And it looks pretty awesome. And just like that, our concrete truck arrived. So... Nor was telling me that it takes about 60 yards, give or take, per pad. And I think each truck is like anywhere, is depending on if it's a semi-type or not. I think they're around that, sorry, eight to 11 yards per truck. So the concrete is coming from Melville, I do believe, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away, give or take, something like that. I just moved my drill, because I just got here. If I would have been here a little earlier, I could have got stuff moved out for him here. Made it a little bit easier for him. Let's see how long it takes to empty a truck. I was told around that 10, 15 minutes. pumper dude he's running the pumper which is moving it over to the pad he's also guiding the concrete driver in apparently they're gonna pour it right into there that must be quite a pump I know nothing about this sort of thing so I find it very fascinating I also don't want to go get in their way and say oh by the way could you could you talk to me about all the PSI's and the pressures and all that fun stuff they push me out of the way my like, Mike we're in a hurry we we gotta get this done, we got more concrete trucks coming. I'll be like, okay, my bad. So we're just gonna watch, okay? I guess the driver is then dumping it. And I think we're gonna start pumping. I can't hardly make a pump pump water. Never mind, keep a pump pumping concrete.
around and around we go, I guess. So the guy running the pumper, he's running the joysticks there, and he just keeps moving that big arm all the way around the pad. Then Norm is just kind of directing the concrete, the flow where he wants it to go, and they'll just keep doing that until the concrete truck is empty over there, and hopefully another one will be here by the time that one's empty. That's kind of the gist of things. And I literally just got finished saying that, and apparently it must be empty. So now we wait for the next truck, and uh, the driver of the concrete truck there, you can clearly see, he's just cleaning out. Now we twiddle our thumbs. So I probably should mention that they do their best to try and time the truck, so that way when they finish one truck, another one shows up, and then so on, so on, so on, so on forth. Uh, but you know stuff can happen breakdowns can happen at the plant stuff can happen here Trucks can get lost or you know That's just part of life, but and this has actually been going pretty well. This pour has been going good, but back home while we were seeding um, Dad actually built four uh, More bins back home and they're a little bit bigger diameter. They're 48s. I think these are 42s or something like that and uh it did not go well. That pour did not go well. It, it was not the same crew, though, for the record. It was not the same crew. Uh, but it did not go well. I, they're pulling their concrete, you know, from an hour to two hours away as well. And I don't believe the crew was ready for them because they were still trying to put rebar in. And uh, the truck started all showing up at the same time. You know, the trucks just do what they're told, right? They just do what they're told. They get a call and say, okay, be here at 4, be here at 5, be here in the morning, whatever it might be. And I do believe that the concrete sat on those trucks for about five hours before they even pumped them off and then uh, the last few were eight hours and it was not going well it was not coming out of the trucks well it was not a good time if that would have been in like the city on a commercial building they would have probably rejected the load and sent it packing but anyways this pour up here is going well so uh, we're thankful for that providing that we can keep the rain away while we're pouring here that would be awesome so while we're waiting here, uh, they're gonna they're starting to vibrate this concrete down a little bit. They got this little fancy dancy vibrator thing. And they just jam it down along the sides like this. learning a lot and while they're vibrating that our one concrete truck right here to the right he's cleaned out he's heading out and just about perfect timing the other one is showing up awesome it's spitting on us I think that rain cloud might be coming over us. Unfortunately, we can't control the weather. We just do the best that we can, but uh, it doesn't take them long to empty a truck. I think it only took them like seven minutes on that last truck, so it goes pretty quick. Number two. Wow, that was quick. And now we're starting to fill in the top. Now we have a semi uh, trailered uh, concrete load there. Things are going pretty good. You guys pretty much get the idea.
raining on us. Unfortunate, but nothing we can do. Just about got a poured. Just about done. Well, just about done the pouring. See all the little raindrops? Hopefully this little, it's just a bit of a system. Hopefully it's just gonna go over us here and move on and then we can prowl all this out. Well, the rain has finally cleared up here a little bit. Obviously they're done pumping. Pumper truck's all folded down. Trucks are gone, he's taken off. They're just waiting for these suckers to dry a little bit more, you know. So that way they can kind of keep working on them here. Things are looking good, you guys. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll conclude the video. This one's pretty much already done. Just a few little rain prints in here. You pushed on it really hard. But yeah. They'll uh, finish it up so that way there's no lines in here. But I'm happy. Adios, guys. Have, have yourself a good one.